Ang Power and Play, dalawang oras na. Alamin ang mga maiinit na balita sa mundo ng palakasan. Power and Play! Kasama niyo ako, Noli Iyala, tuwing Sabado mula alas 8 hanggang alas 10 ng umaga sa Radyo 5, 92.3 True FM. Dito tayo sa Totoo. 25,000 watts ng totoong tunog ng FM Radio. Totoong pinalakas, totoong pinagtibay ng mga batikang mamamahaya sa paghahatig ng news, public service, entertainment, music, information, at inspiration para sa bawat kapatid, bawat Pilipino. Ito ang 92.3 Radio 5 True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Mainit at makabuluhang talakayan tungkol sa sports, kumpleto yan dito sa Power and Play. Mula sa mga paborito at naglalakihang atleta hanggang sa mga natatanging Pinoy sports figures na dapat niyong makilala, ihatid yan dito sa Power and Play. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Ako Pilipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilantad ang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok ay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Magpakitang gilas na Talento natin ang bida Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ng Pinoy Pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulo Tsumbe, sibay, lakay, amiga Sama-sama pakita Ang galing natin katropa Sa kapwa ko Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. The development sa mundo ng palakasan, mga bagong salta sa larangan ng uh, paligsahan. Yan po ang ating pag-usapan ngayong umaga sa inyong paboritong kasama tuwing Sabado. Edi Pano, bango na! Power and Play na! Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Isa pong maganda at maulang umaga sa inyong lahat mga kapatid. Ha? Nagmumula po sa TV5 Media Center sa aming pong 1PH Studios. Ito po ang Power and Play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, ang yerong may aluminum. Cherry Tigo, there's more to our cars. Jukes to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. True religion, where passion meets power. And smart, live more today. Ako po si Noli Iyala. At uh, gusto ko pong patiin lamang lahat ng ating mga suki na lahat po ng uh, mga nanonood ngayong umaga sa Power and Play sa Radyo 5 of course 92.3 True FM ha? yung pong mga pauwi na sa kanilang mga tahanan o yung hindi kaya yung mga papasok po sa kanilang mga tanggapan uh, yung pong mga ano ha? mga pulis ha? sa PNP yung pong mga kaibigan natin sa MMDA na nakatutok sa atin na sa pamamagitan ng uh, Radyo 5 at yung pong mga na doktor, nurse at mga hospital technicians lalong-lalo na sa emergency rooms na naka, nanonood naman po sa pamamagitan ng 1PH on Signal TV. Maganda-magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat ha. And of course, worldwide via the our Facebook live uh, live streaming. Again, nako eh uh, ang dami pong uh, mga nagbubukas uh, at magsisimula na mga liga na ating pong gustong uh, talakayin ngayong araw pong ito. Ha? E, alam naman ho natin na pagkatapos ng mahabang paghahanda para sa World Cup, para sa Asian Games ng ating mga atleta at ng ating mga kuponan, e, medyo tutok ulit tayo sa local sports at sa mga professional leagues. At alam naman po natin mag, ma, nagsimula na 
ang uh, Premier Volleyball League. Ah, yan pong uh, professional women's league natin dito sa ating bansa. At nagdagdag pa sila ng mga kuponan para po sa unprecedented uh, 12-team lineup ng PVL All Filipino Conference. At isa po dyan, ang uh, NX-led Chameleons. Ang ganda ng pangalan, ano? NX-led Chameleons. Uh, pangalawa pong kuponan nito nung Akari Lighting Corporation. Ha? At sila po ay uh, bagong team, although yung kanilang mga player ay mga veterano rin naman. Although uh, meron din silang mga bagong salta. Pero nakakatuwa dito sa NX-led Chameleons, meron silang isang uh, bagong coach na isa pong hapon. Ha? Isa pong uh, hapon na asawa ni Jaja Santiago, yung ating pong superstar sa volleyball. At mamaya po, kilalaan natin ang NX-led Chameleons led by uh, Danny Ravenna uh, si, uh, at sa kanilang coach po, si Coach uh, Taka Minoa. Ha? Mamaya po, ha? Uh, pag, uh, pakinggan niyo po ang ating live interview sa kanilang kuponan. Meron din po tayo mamaya makakasama at magiging bisita. Siya po ang kauna-unahang Pinay na nag-qualify po sa Olympics, ha? gymnast, ha? isa pong gymnast sa loob ng anim na pong taon. Naku po, anim na dekada tayo naghintay bago makakuha muli o makakwalify muli ng isang Filipina gymnast. At siya po ang maglalaro sa Paris Olympics para uh, i-represent po ang ating bansa ha? sa kanyang uh, paboritong sport na gymnastics. Siya po si Alea Finnegan, mamaya po ay ating makakapanayam si Alea Finnegan. Uh, siya rin po ay uh, double gold medalist ng Southeast Asian Games at uh, naging uh, gold medalist din to para sa Team USA sa Pan American Games pero siya po ay lumipat na sa kanyang mother side ika nga ang bansang Pilipinas. Ating po makakapanayam siya mamaya. And of course, sabi ko nga, maraming nagbubukas at alam naman natin ang mga Pinoy ay mga marites pagdating sa basketball. Marami tayong pag-uusapan po patungkol naman sa inyong paboritong uh, sport ng basketball. Ha? Ang pagbubukas o ang malapit ng pagbubukas ng PBA sa November 5. Ang malapit ng pagbubukas ng NBA sa October 24. Ha? At yung pong uh, iba't iba pang mga balita. Yung UAAP na patuloy pong uh, rumaragasa ngayon at talagang mainit ang aksyon. At yung pong mga developments sa loob at labas ng liga, mga, ng mga liga. Ating pong uh, hihimayin yan at pag-uusapan kasama ng veteranong and of course one of the most celebrated sports analysts ng basketball, si The Dean Kinito Henson. Mamaya-maya lang po yan. Kaya marami po tayong pag-uusapan ngayong umagang ito. Hitik na hitik sa huntahan, kaya dyan lang ho kayo. Walang aalis, medyo maghanda na ng kape at ng almusal. At simulan na po natin ang ating show sa pamamagitan ng ating Sports Weekly Highlights. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala Simulan natin sa track and field. Sumabak sa lie detector test si Paul Volter E.J. Obiena para patunayang hindi siya gumagamit ng anumang performance enhancing drugs. Kasunod yan ang akusasyon ng asawa ng 2012 Olympic gold medalist na si Renaud Lavillenie na sangkot umano sa doping ang current world number 2. Naku naman, ano ba naman klaseng akusasyon yan? Ayon sa pride ng Pinas, negative siya sa 34 na drug test sa loob ng labing isang taon. Pinag-aaralan ngayon ng kampo ni Obiena ang mga posibleng legal action laban sa nag-akusa. Sa PBA naman, inanunsyo ng liga na tinatrabaho na ang pagdaragdag ng dalawa pang kuponan. Aba, expansion ha? Kinumpirma yan ni League Chairman Ricky Vargas sa press conference bago ang PBA Commissioner's Cup. 24, uh, 2014 pa, huling nag-expand ang PBA nang pumasok sa liga ang Blackwater Bossing at Terra Firma Jeep. Wala pang anunsyo kung ano-anong mga kumpanya ang interesadong pumasok sa liga. Eh, sana naman eh, kahit pa paano kung magdadagdag sila, eh, ayusin muna nila yung current na 12 teams na magkaroon ng konting pagkakapantay-pantay. Malungkot na balita naman para sa Barangay Hinebra fans. 
Nagahanap na ng reserve import ang Gene Kings kung sakaling masususpindi si Justin Brownlee. Hindi na iaapila ang B-sample ng urine ni Brownlee matapos siyang bumagsak sa anti-doping test sa Asian Games. Hinihintay ngayon ang desisyon ng FIBA pero posible daw dalawang taon maban ang naturalized player. Dinala sa pitong finals ni JB ang Hinebra kung saan anim dyan ay umuwi silang kampyon. Iba pang update sa PBA, pumirma na sa San Miguel Beermen si dating Converge star Jeron Teng. Two years ang kontrata ni Teng sa SMB na nakuha niya ilang araw lang pagkatapos magpakasal. Nandun tayo nun ha. Samantala, balik Pinas naman si Robert Bolik na hindi na tinapos ang kontrata sa Fukushima Firebonds sa Japan B-League. Umuwi ng Pilipinas si Bolik dahil sa buntis ang kanyang asawa. Wala pang balita kung lalaro sa PBA ngayong season ang Star Guard. At sa volleyball, isa na namang miyembro ng champion squad, Creamline Cool Smashers, ang aalis ng bansa. Aalis na sa team si middle blocker Celine Domingo para maglaro abroad. Wala pang opisyal na anunsyo kung saang team susunod na lalaro si Sed. Suportado naman ng Creamline ng desisyon ng Young Star. Si Domingo na ang ikalawang player ng Cool Smashers na aalis para mag-abroad ngayong taon. Nauna sa kanya ang star setter na si Gia Morado de Guzman na nasa Japan na ngayon. At gumawa na naman ng kasaysayan ang kababayan nating si Bianca Bustamante. Ang Pinay teenager ang pinakaunang babaeng racing driver na sumale sa McLaren. Wow! Ang bihirang balita ito. Mapupunta siya sa ilalim ng McLaren Driver Development Program. Congratulations, Bianca! At of course, nasa likod mo ang buong bansa. Ako, malaking karangalan niya. At yan po ang buod ng mga balita ngayong linggo sa Sports Weekly Highlights. Talaga namang uh, ang daming mga atletang nagbibigay po ng karangalan sa atin. At uh, sana, eh, wag na pong yuraka ng uh, imahe kagaya nung nangyari kay EJ Obien. Ano naman yung klaseng akusasyon na yan? Nakitang-kita naman ng paghihirap ng ating uh, golden boy sa track and field at biglang aakusahan pa ng, uh, ng uh, doping. Eh, hindi hata ho maganda yan. Ah, lalong-lalo na sa mga katulad ni EJ na talaga naman pong tinatang, tinitanghala sa buong mundo dahil siya po ay uh, gumagawa ng kasaysayan para sa kanyang sarili at para sa ating bansa. Sana po ay mawala na yan. Of course, kanina nabalita na rin po natin ang pagsisimula na ng NBA. Naku, ang dami pong uh, ika nga. Eh, marami pong storylines, narratives, dapat pag-usapan sa pagbubukas ng NBA season sa October 24 o October 25 po dito sa Pinas. Ang dalawang laro yata ang magaganap doon. Napakagandang uh, uh, simula yan. Ha? Denver Nuggets, yung defending champions, ay itatampok po sa opening tip-off ng NBA kasama rin ang uh, Los Angeles Lakers at ng Phoenix Suns. Ha? Kaya abangan nyo po yan. Ha? At ang napakarami pong uh, pwedeng pag-usapan dyan po, ha? yung mga tinatawag nilang uh, yung build-up ng Milwaukee Bucks sa kanilang pagkuha kay Damian Lillard, yung pong uh, kaya ba na hataki ni Chris Paul o dagdagan ng chance ng, ng uh, Golden State Manalo na ngayon ay kasama na nila si CP3. Yung pong pagdagdag ni Drew Holiday at ni Kristaps Porzingis sa malakas ng koponan katulad ng Boston. Ano ba ho ang mangyayari sa Rookie of the Year Chase na ngayon ay meron tayong unicorn, unicorn of a talent, yung generational talent na katulad ni Victor Wenbanyama. Yung bahong Luka Doncic at Kyrie Irving ay uh, puputok na sa wakas para sa Dallas Mavericks. And of course, yung pong mga naglaro sa World Cup katulad ni Paolo Banquero, ni Austin Reeves, ni uh, J- Jalen Brunson. Yan kaya ay makatulong sa kanilang mga koponan. Kaya po itong ating pupulsuhan ha, sa dami ng dapat pag-usapan pagdating sa NBA. Ito po ang aming gustong pulsuhan na sa pulso ng bayan hatid sa inyo po ng M2 Tea Drink with Malunggay, Okra and Luya. Drink your gulay with M2 Tea Drink. Ito po ha, ano po ang pinakaabangan ninyo sa pagsisimula ng bagong NBA season? Sino kaya? O ano kayang uh, kwento 
O ano kayang koponan ang gusto nyong makita dyan sa bagong NBA season? Ha? Magbigay lang po nyo, uh, kayo ng inyong komentaryo sa aking pong, uh, Twitter account or X account at Noli Iyala o di kaya sa aming pong Facebook page ng Power and Play at magkakaroon po kayo ng pagkakataong manalo ng M2 Tea Drink with Malunggay, Okra and Luya at sa inyo ng Nature Earth. Alright, hindi pa tayo tapos magbigay ng mga uh, uh, premyo po dito sa inyong uh, palatuntunan. Of course, uh, patuloy po ang Joyride Super Up Top Up Promo. Of course, ang Joyride mga kapatid, ang pinakamalaki na ngayong uh, Uh, ride Hailing Company na patuloy pong uh, nagbibigay ng serbisyo sa motorcycle taxi, delivery at yung pong bagong four-wheel TNVS or Joyride Car, ha, mga kapatid. Ha. Napakadali lamang para manalo ng 1,000 pesos JR Pay Wallet Credits ha, para magamit po nyo sa mga serbisyo ng Joyride Super App. I-download lamang ang latest version ng Joyride Super App Kuhana ng screenshot ng app's home screen, ipadala sa uh, Power and Play FB page via private message. Isama nyo po ang inyong buong pangalan at registered mobile number at kami po ipipili ng limang mananado ng 1,000 pesos e-wallet or JRP wallet credits. Ha? Hindi pa po tapos dyan. Namimigay din po kami ng uh, limited edition Joyride uh, Aqua Flask. Ayan, no? napakaganda. Yan po yung magagamit ninyo para sa mga biyahe o di kaya pag naglalaro ng sports, eh saktong-sakto po yan uh, na nanatiling malamig at limited edition yan, ha, mga kapatid. And we're giving away to lucky passengers as well as to the partner driver nung mananalong pasahero. Ha. Napakasimple lang po. Mag-book ng MC taxi or ng joyride car. Ha? At pagka-book po ninyo, kumuha kayo ng creative screenshot, yung bangkwela na litrato kasama ng inyong driver partner. Ha? At ipadala nyo po yung uh, litratong yan, yung selfie o kung ano man ho, kung meron kayong kasama, kuhanan ng litrato, padala nyo po sa Power and Play FB page kasama po ng hashtag of the week. At yan po ang aming, uh, kami po ipipili mula sa mga napadala ng mananalo ng Joyride Limited Edition Aqua Flask. At ito po ang ating hashtag of the week. Uh, uh, ilabas nga natin yan, uh, Santi. Ang ating pong hashtag of the week. Mukhang uh, inaayos pa yung hashtag of the week. O sige mamaya, ating papalabas yung hashtag of the week ha, para mak- makita natin. Pero yan po ang ating pamimigay ng Joyride Limited Edition Aqua Flask. Mamaya i-announce din natin po mga kapatid yung nanalo last week ng Aqua Flask. Katabangan nyo po yung ating hashtag of the week. Alright, mga mga kapatid, we are ready to roll. And of course, marami tayong pag-uusapan ngayong umagang ito. At simulan na po natin sa inyong paboritong Fast Take. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. At ang Fast Take ay hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Tigo. There's more To our cars and today, naku eh, mga kaibigan at veteranong sports writers po ang ating mga kasama ngayon. Ang ating po mga uh, bisita sa Fast Take, walang iba kundi ang mga balik Fast Takers, Abak Cordero at si Ruben Terado. Good morning Abak and uh, Ben, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Com. Mukhang uh, talamat, uh, Ben, uh, for coming over. Ano, nababasa ko lahat ng post mo sa nung lalong-lalo na nung Asian Games. Bak, kumusta ka? Ako, wala, naka-mute ka ba, Bak? Naka-mute ka? Practice lang yun, Kong. Practice yeah. lang. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good morning po. Uh, well, unang-una, alam mo, ang dami nga uh, nangyayari. Hindi, kayo, tanigin ko lang kayo. Ha? Huh? Uh, itong itong mga nangyayari ngayon sa mundo ng palakasan lalong lalo na uh, itong kay EJ Obiana I wanna ask you uh, Abak kung ikaw si EJ maghahabla ka ba? Ako hindi tatalunin ko na lang sila <laughs> Tama, ayun <laughs> Pero okay, pag, hindi, pag naghahabla ka eh, distraction lang yan eh di ba? So, why, 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 why do you have to prove yourself? To ano ano sa tingin mo ang punto dyan? Bakit nilabas ito nung asawa nung si Lavinelle? Uh, perhaps they are sour graping or 
Yan lang naman ang mga dahilan dyan. Eh. If you can't beat someone, eh, guluhin mo na lang. <laughs> <laughs> well, al- al- tama yan. Alam mo naman na uh, talaga minsan ang inggit ay uh, napaka... Napakabigat na bagahe yan kahit na kanino. Eh, sa ganda ng ipinapakita ni EJ, talaga naman maraming naiinggit. Uh, ben, uh, marami ding developments of course after the Asian Games, after nanalo tayo. Uh, and of course, the latest one, itong pagbabalik ni Robert Bolick, no Dahil nga doon sa naging maselang na pagbubuntis ng kanyang misis na nasa Japan kasama niya. Ngayon, nag-resign nga siya doon sa kanyang kuponan at ngayon bumalik na siya. What is the latest kay Robert ang naririnig mo, Ben? Uh, meron bang pag-asang maglaro ito sa PBA? I think so far, kung wala pa tayo naririnig na honestly with regards to Robert Bolick situation, but uh, actually, I won't be surprised if uh, he returns sa PBA. Remember, nasa nasa Northport pa rin naman yung rights niya and mm-hmm. uh, like you like you mentioned kanina yung pregnancy ng kanyang wife i think uh, it will be difficult kung sa Japan pa siya maglalaro no with the situation of uh, his wife so i won't be surprised kung if uh, Robert Bolick returns to Northport kasi uh, yung Northport badly needed yung kanyang services eh. although they have a young core iba pa rin yung Robert Bolick na who is a proven scorer that uh, will definitely help the team alam natin yan, ganyan talaga. And of course, nakita na naman natin ang kasaysayan, ang track record ni Robert Bolick. And of course, now that he's here, eh, there's another additional star as well as maybe a- additional help para sa ating national team uh, going into the uh, qualifiers. Meron kami pinupulsuhan dito before I go to the fast take. And I know there's one question that we will be talking about in terms of the predictions in the upcoming season of the NBA. Pero yung pinupulsuhan namin, eh, ano yung inaabangan ninyo? sa NBA. Ang dami kong nga nabanggit ng mga storylines. Alam naman ang alam naman natin ang ang drama sa sports ha ay isang katerba. Kaya abak ikaw, anong inaabangan mo sa NBA season ngayong uh, taon na to? Ako ito, number one, the biggest news is the biggest player of them all, ano? Si si Victor Wembanyama. Oo. Oh. Parang yan muna ang gusto kong tutukan pagdating sa mga games. Yung New Orleans muna tayo, maya, ma, ano. And si, ano, si Zion Williamson, yung, yung, yung comeback ni Zion Williamson. He was, uh, uh, a lot of people looked forward to his uh, stint last year, pero naudlot because of injury. So ngayon, maglalaro ulit siya. Oo, nakita naman natin ang uh, preseason. Of course, although we don't put too much uh, ika nga, emphasis o importance sa na nangyayari sa preseason, pero yung ginagawa ni Victor Wembanyama sa preseason ay kakaiba. Eh, nakita mo ba yung alley of play na ipinasa ni Trey Jones? Nandun siya sa three-point line nung sinalo niya yung bola. Eh, eh nung tumak, tum, tumakbo siya, tumalo na dinakdak yung bola, pambihira. It, it will be a highlight after highlight dito sa NBA season na ito. Ben, ikaw, ano ba ang inaabangan mo sa parating na NBA season? Maliban doon sa ating fantasy I'm... group, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Kung nagulat ako na WMB pinili mo. Oh, <laughs> But, uh, actually, yun din ang inabangan ko yung WMB. No? I think uh, yun yun, generational talent. But I think aside from that, Com, yung ano, uh, Lebron James, uh, I think is now the oldest player in the league officially no? with the retirement of Andre Gadala. So, It will be interesting how LeBron will play this out no yung kanya uh, may, may dad na siya but uh, let's see if uh, kaya pa niya I, I, I have no doubts na kaya pa niya no but let's see uh, kung, kung ano mangyayari no with LeBron being the oldest player right now Absolutely na 21 years uh, 21st season niya uh, ilan ba 38 na ba si LeBron turning uh, turning 38 ba turning 39 parang ganoon ano on this mm-hmm. on December 30 so it will be very interesting although nang nakikita natin eh kondisyon kondisyon pa rin ang uh, the king all right let's go to our fast take issues of the morning eh, alam niyo na ang drill dito bato-bato sa langit tamaan wag magagalit and of course walang tama o walang mali ang opinion niyo lamang ang mahalaga One minute to answer all of the issues And let's begin with the first one. Ito ay patungkol sa isang pag-aaral na lumabas sa pahayagan no, na meron daw isang study na nagsasabing uh, very favorable at positive ang pagtanggap ng mga uh, netizens, no? uh, yung mga gumagamit ng social media sa pagkakahirang kay Tim Cohn bilang Gilas Pilipinas Head Coach. So ito ang tanong, ano ang take nyo? Sa isang pag-aaral na mainit daw ang pagtanggap kay Tim Cohn bilang Gilas 
head coach, dapat ba na, dapat ba na ipagpatuloy niya? I'll begin with you, Abak. One minute. Go. Come, uh, I will begin by asking the question, uh, do we have to change the winning formula? Hindi ba? We waited 61 years for this, ano, as far as the Asian Games is concerned. But uh, eh, it happened, Com. It happened in uh, Hangzhou and we were fortunate to be there. Madaming factors naman that led to victory. No? Uh, but the bit since the question is about Tim Cohn. I think he should. You know? Moments after the victory over Jordan, it, yun na agad ang tinanong namin sa kanya. Nila Jerry Ramos, nila... Ano. And then sabi niya, without committing himself, ang sabi naman niya, it's all up to the SBP. And, but he'll always be there to help, sabi niya. I, I, I'm not saying, come, that no coach can, no other coach can do the job, di ba? We don't even know if, if the team that saw action in the FIBA World Cup under Coach Suarez could have won the gold in Hangzhou. Maybe yes, maybe no, di ba? Uh, pero nag-click yung Asian Games, kom. So that's the bottom line, nag-click sila. With coach team ko. Kung mag-i-election bukas, landslide, you should say. <laughs> Oy, mag-i-election lang, barangay. Pero <laughs> hindi naman tumatakbong kagawad o kapitan si, <laughs> si coach team ko. Same issue, Ben. And ayon sa pag-aaral, mainit daw ang pagtanggap kay Tim Cohn bilang head coach ng Gilas. Dapat ba nagawin na siyang permanente na head coach ng Gilas? One minute, Ben. Go! Uh, Com, no surprise na no, yung mainit na pang- pagtanggap kasi syempre 61 years yan. Eh, Inantay natin. And uh, prior to that, ang dami na nating heartbreak sa international basketball. So, I'm not surprised na mainit ang pagtanggap. As to kung dapat niyang ipagpatuloy, I think so, no? Uh, but, uh, aside, but I think it will also be very difficult for him to stay, no? Kasi, uh, like Sir Abak said, no? Yung ka- kanyang commitment kasi is with Barangay Hinebra. So that will be, para sa akin kasi it will be, uh, uh, Gilas coach should be a full-time coach. So, magiging mahirap for him yun, eh. But, I think there will be three persons na who magpapakonvince sa kanya to stay and that's MVP, RSA and I, I guess Al Francis Chua. So I think those <laughs> three persons would be ano, very vital dun sa decision ni Coach Tim to stay on. And I hope he stays on kasi uh, marami ito pa tayong competitions in February and yung uh, OQT natin. Tama. Ang dami pang uh, parating ng mga laban ng gilas at uh, I think you're both right. Ika nga, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Eh, naandyan na yan. Uh, na, napatunayan na kaya niyang uh, pangunahan ang ating kuponan. Of course, even in 1998, eh, maganda pa rin yung kanyang nagawang performance doon in the Asian Games uh, with the Centennial Team. So, in every uh, assignment na nag, nabigay kay Coach Tim Cohn, he has always delivered. So, ang tanong na nga lang is, number one, kaya ba na maging uh, full-time siya dyan uh, without... Mm-hmm sacrificing yung kanyang uh, uh, yung trabaho niya sa Hinebra dahil alam ko yung mas yun ay talagang mahal na mahal ni coach team no at pangalawa of course eh uh, kaya pa kaya ng uh, ng ni coach team yung ganyang classing pressure i know that he's also trying to slow down he's got nothing to prove anymore so parang uh, that's something that of course siya at uh, siya lamang at kasama ng kanyang pamilya ang makakasagot Alright, let's go to our second issue of the morning. Ang halos patapos na ang first round ng UAAP at wala tayong nakikitang namamayagpag na iba pa dyan. at wala pang bahid na pagkatalo kesa o kundi sa University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. Kaya ang tanong, base sa first round, kaya na ba na magtuloy-tuloy ng UP sa UAAP title. One minute, Ben. Go! Uh, with all due respect to the other opponents, no, I think kaya na ng Yuping ituloy-ituloy ito. No? Uh, I think they've proven na they're not just strong on paper but also on the court. But I think what impressed me the most, Com, is yung how they've been uh, winning close games no? and uh, able to pull off come from behind victories. I think we saw that sa FEU and then There was also a victory against Lasal na maganda rin yung pagkakapanalo nila. So I think yung kanilang ability to overcome adversities, I think that's the most... Doon ako na-impress for this UP team, no? at least uh, at least for 
playing those kinds of games, they will be able to gain experience from that. And that will be very beneficial for them in their playoff run. So at least ngayon, doon pa lang sa first round, nararanasan na nila yung adversity. So, yeah, I think, Com, uh, with the way things are going, I think UP, kaya na nilang ituloy-tuloy ito, Com. Grabe, grabe talaga ang uh, ginagawa nila. And of course, hats off siyempre sa kanilang head coach. Abak, same question. Baka ibang mm-hmm. sagot mo dito. Uh, UP fighting Maroons after the first round, 5-0 and so far. And of course, oh, 6-0 and na yata. Hindi ako, hindi ako masyadong sigurado. But wala pang talo. Kaya na ba na magtuloy-tuloy sa UAAP Championship? One minute, Abak. Go! 6-0, and Pom. And Ateneo ang kalaban mamaya. So we'll see, you know. Uh, very hot start. But but dito sa UAP, eh, alam mo naman, what you need is a strong finish, you know. Even sa Elites. Kasi okay. listen dyan, one sudden drop, like losing a couple of games might affect the team heading to the final four no last year i think up won may merong seven game winning streak yan in the middle of the eliminations so no but it was ateneo coming from 5-3 that won its last six games in the eliminations so ang lakas ng dating ng ateneo papunta sa final four and then eventually uh, won the title so it's about how you finish talaga malakas ang up more than the talent i think it's the energy and the coaching oh. no? yung yung mindset ng players parang ano eh parang sa akin without being rough parang bastusan ng labanan yung lahat kayo kaya na kami talunin <laughs> ano? and it shows on the court ha, oh. alos parang Hinebra I would like to liken them to Hinebra oh. kaya, um, talo na nananalo pa hindi ba so we'll see but uh, sana ako muna sana may final four yun lang muna oh, well eh, alam mo una una sabi nga ni Ruben, on paper pa lang, alam, nakikita na natin kung gaano kalakas itong UP Fighting Maroons. They have uh, the former, uh, the MVP, nung kanilang si Malik Diouf, andyan pa rin. And of course, uh, uh, a lot of new recruits, of course, andyan pa rin yung kanilang core. Eh talaga namang napakahusay. But you are right. At the end of the day, we have to remember, marami nang nag-dominate ng, uh, ng uh, early rounds ng UAP na hindi nanalo ng uh, championship ha? na some even went all the way na na sweep pero pagdating sa dulo we remember mm-hmm. of course UE <laughs> during mm-hmm. their time uh, we have we remember La Salle uh, also mm-hmm. even Ateneo nung tinalo sila ng UST so uh, mm-hmm. at the end of the day it is the finish that is important pero mm-hmm. ako masakit mang tanggapin eh mukhang <laughs> talagang mahirap talunin ang UP I think this is a team that was built to win this year and uh, eh, maganda sana nga kung ating makikita lamang ang final four. All right, let's go to our final question, final issue of the morning. Nako, balikan natin ang NBA kung saan sabi nga natin ang napakaraming magagaling na bagong players and of course mga naglipatang mga bituin. So ang ating final issue of the morning, ano ang super early individual <laughs> awards prediction ninyo sa NBA. I'll begin with you. Abak, one minute. Go! Alam mo, Rob, nilabas ko kanina yung bolang kristal ko. Eh. Yeah! <laughs> eh, sa tagal ko hinimas, oh. medyo walang lumalabas dahil sabi siguro masyado pa maaga. Yeah. So, take up the individual awards other than the championship. But then, of course, ako, ang ano, matunog naman tal- palagi yung tanong is about the MVP. Eh, diba? That's yes. a big question. If, if yes. you look at recent years, Meron kasi trend that the bigs are lording it over the NBA. The last five MVPs, puro malalaki yan. Si Yanni, si, si Joris, parang back-to-back, and then si Joel Embiid. Ano? Oh. Meaning, hindi ganun ka-dominant ngayon yung mga the likes of uh, Steph Curry or si LeBron, si Westbrook, si James Harden na yata ang the last uh, shooting guard or ano, na, uh, na, nag-MVP. No? So we'll see if, if si Embiid wants a second uh, straight MVP and follow the footsteps of si and uh, and and... Uh, Uh, to see Jokic. But then again, on the rookie side, see si Victor Wembanyama. No? Wow. We were looking at mm-hmm. this uh, sensational uh, seven foot four teenager. No? So, yan ang mga titignan natin. Meron ba? Mag-rookie of the year MVP ba siya? First in more than 50 years, I think. Wow. Y- yan ang mabigat kung makuha niya yan. Nice, mm-hmm. nice uh, take on that. Uh, Ruben, ikaw, ano ba ang... Uh... Early, super early predictions. Sabi ng producer ko, super early daw yan. NBA Individual Award Predictions. Go, Ruben. One minute. Oh, siguro, WMB na yan sa Rookie of the Year, no? at least. At least. So, 
Tama si Sir Abak, I think uh, may chance si Wemby na, ano, eh, na mag-MVP. Uh, But ako, I, ang bet ko, Rookie of the Year and maybe a possible uh, first NBA, NBA first team, maybe. So, I think, yun nga, nabanggit na natin, uh, Wemby sa generational talent. Ay, grabe, I think, napanood ko yung mga preseason games niya, ibang klase. We have never seen that kind of talent na a big man who can... Uh, Run the floor, uh, play guard skills, and defend. Oh. Uh, grabe. So, unbelievable talent talaga. And uh, I think he's proven, kahit maaga pa lang na he's really a uh, possible uh, Rookie of the Year award. But aside from that, siguro, I'll also, uh, babanggitin ko rin siguro si Chet Holmgren. No? Uh, yeah. Possible yeah. na siguro na all rookie team, uh, a possible candidate kasi... I think mini Wemby rin siya eh. Ibang klase rin yung kanyang skills eh. Uh, on a, a big man who can also play guard skills. So I think si Chet Holmgren, uh, a player to watch as well. Uh, Tom. I, I cannot uh, disagree. Uh. Alam natin kung gaano kagaling yung Chet Holmgren. And of course, na, na ano yan, na red shirt yan. Yung na-injure kaya hindi ka agad nakapaglaro as a rookie dapat last year. But you know, Wemba Nyama, eh pwedeng maging rookie of the year. MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Pwede rin yan. Eh, dahil sa sobrang daming uh, na, nakukover, nasasapal. Uh, he can cover so much space, so much ground. Just an absolute uh, stunning player at talagang abangan na napakaraming players yan. But ako, I'll go on, out on a limb. I think Jason Tatum might just be a, a prime candidate for MVP this year. Maganda ang kuponan ng Boston. I think if he can take them all the way to the... Uh, to the conference finals bago magbutuhan uh, na maganda yung record nila sa regular season I think may laban si Jason Tatum because I think he is primed to have a good year this year now na meron siyang kasamang katulad ni Drew Holiday meron siyang big man na tumitira sa labas malilibre yung loob I think Jason Tatum is uh, has a very good chance of making the MVP Alright gentlemen ako eh marami pa tayong dapat pag-usapan at maraming huntahan pero iintayin ko na muna yung uh, yung imbita ni Abak sa isang uh, sa isang malamig na gabing uh, uh, <laughs> pagsasama. Maraming Tom, salamat. Bak. Uh, Tom, uh, just a few seconds. So my, my, my sure. sister Marida si Dan Cordero passed away last Uy. October 12 and uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody, all those who offered prayers, masses, all those who joined us in our moment of grief. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat and uh, to my sister may you may your beautiful soul rest in peace thank you my deepest con- uh, condolences sa uh, abaka sa yung pamilya at sa pamilya ng inyong uh, ng inyong kapatid yes sir thank you maraming salamat and uh, again see you again Ren and Abak maraming salamat mga kaibigan ng ating po mga kaibigan at of course mga kinikilalang sports writers Ruben Terado ng spin.ph and of course Abak Cordero ng Philippine star. Okay, ang dami natin again, napag-usapan doon. Ha? Before we take a break, uh, isa muna pong paalala sa ating mga kaibigan mula sa SMART. Puso Pilipinas is a movement to celebrate the Filipino athlete powered by SMART. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Get a chance to win exclusive Puso Pilipinas merch by sharing their Facebook page in your social media accounts with hashtag Puso Pilipinas. The Giga Life app is the latest mobile app from SMART that lets you discover and enjoy your passions with the different Giga promos. It can be downloaded and used by Smart Postpaid, Smart Prepaid, Bro Prepaid, and TNT subscribers via the Apple or Google Play Store. What can the Giga Life app do for me? Check your balance, monitor your current subscription, top up using debit credit card, subscribe to the latest Giga promos, monitor your data consumption, auto-detect your mobile number when you are connected to Smart Network, one-tap subscription to the most popular offer, Giga Video 99 and of course Power and Play is powered by Smart. Live more today. At sa ating pong pagbabalik ang ating po mga kapanayam ang the Dean of Philippine Sports, Kinito Henson tungkol sa mga developments sa Philippine basketball. Ito po ang Power and Play at din sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go at ng True Religion. Ang oras po natin. 8.39 ng umaga, this time check is brought to you by M2 Tea Drink with Malungay, Okra, and Luya. Drink your gulay with M2 Tea Drinks.
I dare to dream big. To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai's stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart, ako. Masarap, malinis, friendly store crew, at higit sa lahat, healthy. Ang bawat manok ay laki sa alaga, hindi sa gamot, garantisado, zero antibiotics. And that's the Chooks Experience. Kaya mag Chooks to stay na, dito lang sa Chooks. Pinarangala ng Pima bilang radio station of the year, Radio 5, True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom, ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Totoong abot na abot ang True FM saan man panig ng Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Basta may Pilipino, sundan at ilike ang Radyo 5 True FM sa Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at sa X o Twitter. Dito na tayo sa totoo. True FM, tunay na kapatid, maaasahan sa radyo at online. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom, ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom, tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Namiss mo ba ang game kagabi? Gusto mo bang malaman ang latest happening sa sports? Like and follow us on social media. Pwede mo nang balik-balikan ang mga paborito mong games anytime. Kahit saan. At pwede mo nang i-share sa tropa. Dito lang tayo sa nag-iisang go-to tambayan ng lahat. At One Sports PHL on social media. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom, ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom, tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Orig siyang idol. Walang humpay sa pagtulong, walang sablay sa pagbibigay. Lapitan, pilahan, hingahan, iyakan, asahan. Hindi kanya tatalikuran. Mas astig sa pagbibigay ng pag-asa. Wanted sa radyo. Wanted sa radyo. Idol. Senator Rafi Tulfo sa 92.3. Radyo 5. True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Broadcasting from the Radyo 5 studios in Reliance Street, Mandaluyong City. In Mega Manila. 25,000 watts of true broadcast quality. Mas pinalakas. Mas Mas pinalawa, mas pinalinaw na tunog ng AM sa FM. Ito ang 92.3 Radyo 5 True FM. True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Power and play with Com Noli Iyala. All right, nagbabalik po ang Power play, power and play this morning. Kanina po, hindi natin napakita yung hashtag natin of the week para sa Joyride uh, uh, Limited Edition Aqua Flask. Ito po yung ating uh, uh, hashtag of the week. Uh, yan po ha, hashtag tatak 
Joyride. Ha? Yan po ang ikakabit nyo doon sa creative picture nyo na ipapadala nyo po kasama ng inyong uh, driver, rider, or uh, driver partner at si kayo po ay may pag-asa manalo ng limited edition Joyride Aqua Flask. Alright. Uh, and at this point, oh, bago natin, bago ko pa ipasok yung ating susunod na guest, gusto ko lang po, uh, of course, bumati rin kay, uh, kay Perry Martinez who's celebrating his uh, birthday today. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday paring Perry. Uh, Perry, of course, was the, the technical uh, head ng PBA uh, long many years ago, kasama ko po. At gusto ko rin pong batiin si Attorney Harry Roque ng isang happy, happy birthday. Uh, happy, happy birthday, Attorney uh, Harry Roque. Alright, mga kapatid. You know, recently, just a couple of days, kami po'y magkasama nitong aking susunod na uh, panauhin na uh, covering, uh, of course, the East Asia Super League. At uh, talaga namang uh, napakaganda nung pagsisimula ng ligang yan. And a lot more developments in the world of basketball na gusto natin uh, makakuha ng update. Of course, kanino pa? Kung hindi sa, mula sa The Dean of Philippine Sports, Kinito Henson. Magandang umaga, Kinits! Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for joining us. Magandang umaga kasi Noli. Ako eh, para tayong matagal nang hindi nagkikita nito. <laughs> no, okay, para dun sa mga hindi nakakalang, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna begin with this. Uh, we covered the EAS, EASL uh, game uh, between uh, Chiba and um, uh, Fubon Braves. It was only the second play date. Ano ba ang in-store para sa ating mga fans ng East Asia Super League kinito? Well, unang-una, no? yung uh, na-cover natin na ron, super ganda. It went to overtime. Chiba Jets still undefeated in two games sa East Asia Super League. At ang, uh, siguro pwede natin abangan ang EASL, especially when the EASL comes to the Philippines. Exactly. And November 1st, yung Chiba Jets na napanood na natin, winning two games, will be taking on TNT in a rematch. Wow. Now, hindi pa natin alam kung saan gagawin yun. Uh -huh. There is a talk that it may be held in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Uh -huh. Could be held in some other venue, but uh, the game will definitely be held sa Pilipinas po yan, November 1st, EASL, Chiba versus TNT. At yung isang PBA team na maglalaro din sa EASL, yung uh, Meralco Bolts. Right. And that will, that team will be playing in a separate division. Kanya maganda itong labanan. Ang, ang, ang balita natin, just before I leave EASL, eh, merong premyo itong EASL na magagamit ng mga PBA teams kung sila ang mananalo? One million dollars. Da uh, dollars to? Dollars? Dollars yan, no? Oh. Yan ang ibibigay <laughs> sa champion. At ang mangyayari is that in the regular season, games will be played only on Wednesday, home and away basis. So four teams in one group, four teams in the other group, eight teams in total. 24 total games sa regular season. Pagkatapos nun, maglalaban yung uh, number one, tsaka number two sa kabilang group, tapos yung number one, number two sa kabilang ng group, and there will be a knockout semifinals. There will be a final four. Kung sino po mananalo sa semifinals, yun ang papasok sa final, and they will be going up uh, against each other for the one million dollar wow. wow. first prize. Grabe yun. Eh, parang uh, salary cap na yan ng PBA at <laughs> mga gamit na <laughs> ng dalawang team. Of course, a lot of very, very good players, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, dyan sa EASL, including, of course, yung mga imports na ating pong aabangan. And talking about imports, Kinito, let me jump into that segue. Uh, of course, one of the most celebrated imports is Justin Brownlee, leather team, to a breakthrough win in the Asian Games after 61 years. Pero of course, siya ay nadawit sa isang uh, napakalungkot na pangyayari nang siya ay nagpositive sa isang doping test. Uh, and again, it's because of the medications that he was taking. What is the latest sa kanyang uh, kaso, Kinito? And do you, what are the implications of yung, uh, yung uh, nangyari kay Justin Brownlee? Very timely question yan, uh, Komnoli, at ang uh, ginawa ko to be able to get to the bottom of it, eh, nag-usap kami ni uh, Parangay Hinebra, PBA Governor Al Francis Chua, also happens to be the team manager of the Gilas team that won the gold, the gold medal sa Asian Games. Kahapon po sa opisira ni uh, Gov Al Francis, pumunta po ako at nag-usap kami ng siguro over one hour to talk about uh, Justin Brownlee and what could possibly be ahead for Gilas in the international realm. Now, see si Justin Brownlee, again, just to be able to recap ko ano nangyari sa kanya, uh, two samples were taken, uh, urine samples, pakatapos ang laro. So after the game, 
he was led to um, a room where uh, his urine was extracted. Um, it wasn't a very easy process kasi may linya yan eh. So may cue. So pagkatapos ng laro, he was brought to the room. He finished at about 1 a.m. Okay, 1 a.m. So two samples were taken. Mm. The first sample, yung tinatawag natin na sample A, had what they call an adverse analytical finding or AAF. Mm -hmm. That means he tested positive for a bad substance. Mm -hmm. Hindi po performance enhancing drug uh, was found in his uh, urine, kundi mm -hmm. cannabis. Mm -hmm. So this apparently has been taken by uh, Justin Brownlee to relieve the pain and for medicinal purposes as prescribed by his doctor. Kasi na para si uh, Justin Brownlee just about... Uh, I would say about a month before the start of the FIBA World Cup. Kanya nga siya hindi nakalaro sa FIBA World, World Cup. Cup. Ito, sasabihin ko na, no, Kom Noli. He was supposed to play for the Philippines wow. in the FIBA World Cup. Uy. Pero because of his injury, napasok si Cl Jordan Clarkson. So, ibig mo sabihin, oh. lalaro si Brownlee instead na si Clarkson? Yun ang, uh, yun ang mangyayari dapat? That's right. Wow. That's right. Wow. Yan ang pasya ng SBP. Yan din ang pasya ng uh, head coach and the complete management of Gilas. Justin Brownlee was supposed to play for the Philippines. Pero nung nangyari that he had bone spurs in his uh, foot, mm -hmm. they had to undergo arthroscopic surgery on him. Mm -hmm. Three places sa kanyang uh, paa, uh -oh. they were able to extract those bone spurs. So hindi siya nakalaro, George Clarkson came in. Mm -hmm. So that's something like uh, an untold story uh -huh. behind the FIBA World Cup. Uh -huh. But be that as it may, he was taking this medication lumabas sa kanyang urine sample. Ngayon, he had until last Thursday to contest yung sample A. The process of contesting is you go to sample B. Okay. Pero ang sabi naman ng ating uh, team manager, si Al Francis Chua, ba't pa natin i-contest? Kasi nag-positive na sa sample A. Yung sample B, if you contest, they will open up sample B and they will test it. Eh, it came from the same person. It came about the same time. It was extracted from the same urine. So, ang sabi nila, let's not contest it because if you contest it, baka, mas, baka hindi maganda ang dating sa mga doping authorities para kina-question natin yung credibility ng kanilang testing devices. So, uh, uh, what has happened here is from an adverse analytical finding or AAF, this will become an anti-doping rule violation mm -hmm. which is called AARV. Mm -hmm. And that means subject to sanction by not only by WADA or the World Anti-Doping Association, but also by FIBA. Now, looking at uh, the past penalties... Kanila, before you go course, ahead, uh, bakit kasama yeah. ang FIBA dyan? Bakit kasama ang penalty from FIBA when the Asian Games is not a FIBA tournament? Yung mga nagtatanong, may mga ganun eh. Bakit ganun? Yes, uh, because international federation ang uh, FIBA okay. under the rules of the Olympic Council of Asia okay. although yung basketball was not an Olympic qualifier and also was not uh, uh, under the FIBA eligibility sanctions meaning to say yung eligibility ng, ng Olympic Council of Asia for basketball in the Asian Games different from FIBA okay. still um, FIBA officials were used FIBA operating rules of the game were used mm. kanya in that in that in that uh, perspective under the purview then of FIBA, FIBA. Right. so uh, when it comes to doping especially since it's a very sensitive matter they will go to the international federation for proper sanctioning okay now an SPP has already studied what are the possible penalties oh, that nga. could be given assuming that he needed not in contest and it looks like we will not contest okay that has been the decision so there has been a case where an NBA player playing in an international competition, was uh, found positive for cannabis. He was given three-month suspension. Okay. Okay. There was another and there was another athlete, uh, not related to basketball necessarily, no, who also tested uh, positive for cannabis, but was able to provide a medical prescription from the doctors okay. saying that kailangan niyang gumamit ang cannabis for medical, medicinal purposes. That, that suspension was only for one month. Wow. So, oh. ang tinitignan natin dito, anywhere between one to three months ang suspension. But uh, I don't think we should disrespect FIBA. I don't think we should uh, contest this vehemently. I think we should just accept uh, what has been the situation and also provide the medical prescription ng doctor mm. to be able to um, 
comply with this kind of process right. ng FIBA. No? Oh. So we're always hoping that that happens. Now, here's something that uh, I mentioned to Gov. Al Francis Chua, that in some cases, FIBA, in giving the suspension, they will look at the point of extraction of the urine sample as the point where they will determine the number of uh, days for suspension. Reckoning so point, reckoning point. Yes, oh, oh. so uh, Pom, uh, I'm very, very hopeful, uh, if not optimistic, no, that if the ruling is, let's say, one month suspension, mm. if you go back to October 7, eh, matatapos yung suspension, November 7. Halos, ang, uh, kakabukas isa, lang ng PBA. Yes, ang umpisa oh. ng PBA is November 5. No. So, I mean, that is probably the most that we can hope for. That uh, number one, it will be a one-month suspension, oh. and number two, that the recording period can be at the point of extraction of the urine sample. Okay. Now we don't know whether that will be granted, but we're all hoping and praying that things will be okay, naman for Justin because he is our national hero, he is a national treasure, and he did take cannabis, which, by the way, is no longer a bad substance in the in oh, the NBA. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. took it for medicinal purposes. Oh, he didn't yeah. take it as a recreational well, drug. Okay, it's the, certainly not a performance-enhancing substance. Let me ask you, uh, will the PBA uh, uh, comply, in other words, uh, with a possible potential suspension to Brownlee? Yan din ba ay susundan ng PBA? Yes. Uh, kung anong sasabihin ng FIBA, that is an application that will... Uh, um, go through all the different leagues where Brownlee is right. associated with. Okay. Also, during the suspension, hindi pwede makapractice si Brownlee. Hindi siya pwede he maglaro, join, di ba? Oh. He cannot join any team oh. in any gym um, because that is something that uh, is part of the suspension. The only way that he can practice or that he can train is that if he goes alone, if he's the only person in the gym, mm. the only person in the facility, mm. and he has no contact with any other person mm. in that facility or pa gym, that is part of the suspension. Parang yun ang yari kay uh, uh, Kiefer Ravenna, kung saan hindi rin siya uh, nakapag-practice uh, on only by himself. Kaya naman gumaling yung uh, golf game ni Kiefer Ravenna nung panahon oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let me jump in. Now that you've talked about a little bit about the PBA, let, let me ask you, kasi nga, sabi mo, Maaring sun, uh, susundan talaga ng PBA yan at kung masususpend siya, whether it is hopefully just a month or maybe three months, eh, uh, mawawala siya sa Barangay Hinebra. So, uh, let's talk about that because ang daming Barangay Hinebra fans na of course nag, uh, nagdadamdam and of course na uh, medyo may konting agam-agam. You know, what can we expect in this Commissioner's Cup Conference now that possibly Brownlee will be out? Sino bang makakaharap ng potentially papalit ki Brownlee na mga imports dito sa PBA Commissioner's Cup? Okay, may balita ako that uh, Barangay Nebra has already zeroed in on a possible interim import. Um, they have asked, however, that the name be will not be disclosed oh. at this at this point. Oh. Pero siguro pwede kong sabihin uh, some hints no, about uh, this, uh, this pwede possible... Mga, pwede mga uh, initials? Import. Initials? Pwede dyan? Um, siguro <laughs> sasabihin natin yung uh, last name. Uh -huh. um, first initial is also the same as Brownlee. B? Okay. Number B two, oh. uh, naglaro na yan sa PBA. Okay, that, I think that's the most that I can disclose. Pero alam ko, uh, retired na si Norman Black. Ah. Retired, na si, retired na si Norman Black. <laughs> <laughs> Biden yun, no? Tama. Biden yun. So, uh, well, it's going to be very exciting. I think, uh, alam din ni Justin Brownlee kung ano yung nangyari. Uh, alam niya kung ano yung uh, consequences of what uh, what happened. So, he uh, is accepting whatever FIBA uh, judgment is. And at the same time, whatever is that Ginebra management decision, to bring in an interim import. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all hoping that uh, things will be fine, but I think this is going to be a very, very interesting PBA season coming up. Because, Com, ano mo tinitinan ko yung, ano eh, yung lineup ng mga imports? Oo nga. And I see so much diversity and versatility. Diversity because seven different countries will be represented by the imports. Parang Asian and, Games, ha? Parang Asian Games to. Parang Asian Games, so, uh -huh. meron tayong Australian, whose father is an Indian. Oh. Okay? Oh. Meron tayong New Zealander, meron tayong Belgian waffle, oh. meron tayong Nigerian, uh, meron tayong Puerto Rican, who played in the last uh, FIBA World Cup. Wow. So, we've got a 
very, very diverse group of imports mm -hmm. makes it very exciting. Many of them have had experience in, in European uh, basketball. Right. So uh, we all know that that seems to be the trend now, no? So basketball, in the European style of play, where the big guy is so versatile, can pass, can shoot from the outside, and no, no longer just a post-up player. Kanya, maganda to, no? And at the same time, oh. the PBA will be introducing a lot of new rules. Yeah, yan ang gusto ko man, because I new read rules, about this yes. na and dami daw, of course, the NBA also is starting their season and meron silang couple of rules there, including the flop and uh, the additional challenge rule. Kinita sa PBA, ano yung sa tingin mong rules na uh, makakag makakaganda sa ating liga? Well, several. No? First of all, there are 12 new rules that will be introduced, kanya very exciting. But I've singled out a few of those uh, 12 new rules mm. that I think will be most impactful. Number one, hindi na pwedeng tumawag ng timeout ang mga player. So dati-dati, if uh, you're inbounding, tapos you don't have a clear path or a clear view considering recipient, you have five seconds to inbound. Kung wala kang uh, mapapasahan, tatawag ka ng timeout. Oh, oh, okay? oh, oh, oh. So that's a bailout call. Oh. Hindi na pwede yan. Because sa FIBA, hindi nangyayari. Hindi na And many times, our PBA players, as well as the NBA players who play in FIBA competitions, instinct nila yun eh. Uh -huh. Kung wala silang mapasahan, uh -huh. natawag na timeout. Uh -huh. Even during play, um, if for instance, uh, the defense is uh, closing in on a player or he is trapped and he doesn't want to be called for a five-second ball-hogging violation, he will call a timeout. Uh -huh. Ngayon, hindi na pwede. Mm -hmm. Which means, you will now reward the defense. Okay, dati kasi may bailout eh. Kayo wala nang bailout. Wala nang uh, player timeout. Uh -oh. Only the coach can call that timeout. Okay. Pangalawa, yung coaching challenge. The coaching challenge was done on experiment in the PBA on tour. Right. But there's a little tweak. A little tweak. Yung coaching challenge is, each coach will have one challenge and there are reviewable. So, hindi lamang pwede. Lahat. You can, oh, hindi pwede you can lahat. Oh. challenge anything. Oh. There are very, there are specific reviewables. So, right. First of all, there has to be a call first okay. before you can challenge. Okay. Meaning to say, kung walang tawang referee, hindi mo machachallenge. Kasi right. anong ichachallenge mo? In other words, kung lumayap si, uh, lumay si Scotty Thompson, tinamaan ng kamay, hindi pinutuhan, hindi mo pwede i-challenge yun dahil walang tawang. Yes. Oh. yes. Not unless, not unless, there is grounds for a possible unsportsmanlike. Okay, then you can challenge. Okay. So, now, uh, you know, having said that, yung bagong tweak ng PBA is that uh, in the on-tour series, each coach will have only one challenge each. Right. But now in the PBA season, if your challenge is successful, mm. you are given one more challenge. Oh, oh, oh. Para, uh, that's para, something new. Oh, oh. Da, parang parang uh, yung ginawa din ng NBA ngayon. Ganon din yung gagawin nila. No? Uh, additional yes. challenge. Kung, kung successful lang. Only if successful, no? Kinito. Only if successful. And then after that, wala na. Wala na. Kung ano. Tapos wala na. Tapos Miski wala successful na. yung pangalawa mo, wala na. Wala na. Okay. Oh, that's okay. as far Malino as you yun, can go. Because oh. hindi na po pwede yung palagi magkakaroon ng challenge. Hahaba masyado yung laro. <laughs> and then of course, you have the transition take foul. Which okay. is something very uh, clear. It's only in the PBA. I think in the world of basketball where you have a transition take foul. You have a deliberate foul. Uh, you have uh, penalty one, penalty two. Meron tayo mga gradations yan. Right. Yung transition take foul is not uh, uh, is not classified as a deliberate foul because you just want to stop the movement of the advance of the ball to go on transition. That's right. So ang penalty yan is just one free throw and possession. Mm. Yung deliberate kasi ang penalty yan is two free throws and possession. Uh -huh. So merong merong mga uh, delineation uh -huh. and uh -huh. uh, definitions. Okay. And then the other uh, new rule that will be introduced is yung technicals. We've been so used that with two technical fouls, you're out. Ngayon, the PBA will say that with three technical fouls, then you're out. Ah, <laughs> tatlo na. Tatlo na. Yes, tatlo na ngayon. Oh. And a combination of different things. No? <laughs> Um, ito, ko ah, ang tanong ko doon kinito, hindi ba yun eh, um, kumbaga, kaya nga tinatawag ang technical is to diffuse the situation, di ba? Parang, lalo yes. na pagka medyo may konting uh, pag-aaway o kainitan, it's really yes. to diffuse the situation. Pero kung gagawin yes. ba tatlo, hindi ba pwede pang uling makadagdag sa init ng, uh, ng situation na yun? Anong... Uh, the reason why is because sometimes, a player gets a technical for something that is not unsportsmanlike. For instance, uh, um, if uh, if a player um, shows uh, a, a parang, uh, 
um, uh, violation of decorum. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it may not necessarily mean that he is unsportsmanlike. Maybe it will just be mean that uh, he uh, is standing up or and yung he's yung, yung, yung doing yung, signs of protestation. Yun na lang pumasok na hindi ka nagpaalam. Eh. Minsan nati-technical yes. yun. Oh, oh, hindi naman yung like, unsportsmanlike. Oh. Yeah, so kung minsan you're given a technical if... Uh, Uh, I don't know if uh, if you don't have the the proper um, yung ano if yung uniform yung uniform, uh, uniform. Uh, oh, or something oh, like that. No? Oh, oh, so oh. Uh, there are many technical fouls that are really not considered to be major violations, but yet they're called technical fouls. So mm. para the PBA wants to be able to say, sandale, uh, we don't want to foul out or eject anyone for something that is not that grave. Mm. So our feeling nila, maybe we can uh, we can find out. Um, if uh, using three tacticals for ejection may be the thing to be mm. thing to go, mm. no. But mm. this is something still that will be reviewed after this season. All right. So oh. let's oh. see whether it let's will uh, work out. No? Oh. Many them are combinations, no. For instance, uh, two uh, fouls, the penalty one plus one technical ejection, yon. Mm -hmm. So there are uh, different combinations that the PBA has come up to be able to say that it will take. Generally, three technical fouls I, for you to be ejected. In other words, I think the point is the PBA is trying to uh, show the fans we want the stars to continue to play dahil nagbayad kayo for them to see the fans and therefore ayaw namin silang basta ganun lamang na ipapa, i, 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 atatanggalin sa game. It really needs a series of uh, events just to kick out the player because of technical fouls and with that particular adjustments that they have made. I think, Kinito, that's the point. Uh, yes, though. exactly. Um, I think what happened there was a, there was a game in the last Commissioner's Cup where mm -hmm. an import had um, a technical foul and then um, he was slapped a technical foul for parang a uh, um, delay of game. Delay of game. So I think it was already the second. So he uh, uh, technical foul for a delay. And then he was ejected. Mm -hmm. So parang It's such a minor violation and mm. it didn't deserve right. the ejection of an import player. So, oh. yun ang parang pinag-aaralan ng PBA. Now, how can we uh, um, review a situation oh. so that a player is not ejected on something that is rather inconsequential oh. well, but yet under the rule book oh. should be classified as a technical foul? Halimbawa, foul. Sa, sa NBA, the flop is not a, uh, uh, a foul that is charged to the player. It is not a... Uh, uh, behavioral or a, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, the flapping. So it is not included in the technical na pwede ka ma-eject no? yung uh, flapping rule ng NBA. So I, I guess the PBA is also trying to uh, balance everything na merong control, merong discipline, pero hindi rin nila basta-basta tatanggalin ang isang player. But let me let me go to, because uh, you know we're running out of time here, Kinitz, but I want to ask you, uh, there there of course, these are all game rules and it's beautiful i think hopefully the game becomes more fluid uh mas maki ma may iwan natin ang mga stars and there is less disruption uh but i want to go into the more the more meaty things ng pba season uh we're seeing more players now uh moving teams no nakikita natin yan jerome tang just went back to san miguel beer and maverick ahan misi napunta naman sa Ginebra san miguel so you're seeing movement but again it seems like um lumalaki din ang uh, diferensya ng mga super teams from the uh, I, i guess the lower rank teams no are there any plans na para medyo siguro eh maayos din naman ng PBA ang uh, pagkakapantay-pantay ng mga kuponan kids well, i think the, the ultimate goal is parity uh, you want to have a good distribution of talent a good distribution of wealth sa PBA no but uh, uh, you know i feel that uh, there has to be a serious review of the salary cap situation. Yeah, no. Because, um, we do have a salary cap of 420,000 pesos a month, but we also know that many players are getting more than that in 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 various forms. Mm. But if you were to of course get a com uh, get a calculator and start uh, <laughs> churning out the figures, <laughs> makikita mo, sandali, over the salary cap ta oh. because uh, there will be endorsement money, there will be many other things. So, I think um, 
this will this favors the system now favors those teams that are super rich oh. and there are many teams that are not as rich oh. so we don't want a situation where only the super rich will be able to get the best talent Damn. especially since now we have a new uh, rule that says that once a player has accumulated 21 conferences in his resume he can become a free agent to choose any team oh. to go to oh. so long as he doesn't have a live contract oh. so um, when that happens, you mga lower echelon teams that don't have as big budgets as the super rich teams, they will begin to lose their top echelon players. Correct, correct. Uh, especially oh. since if if the salary cap or the team salary cap uh, are not uh, are not abided by, uh, by no. So uh, you know, I think there has to be a total review. If you introduce a luxury tax, Uy, in, other words, in other words, have have the teams. Offer salaries as high as they want. If they want to do a salary above the salary cap, okay lang. Pero magbayad sila sa liga. At i-declare. Kasi yung pakikinabang doon, oh, oh, oh. hindi lang yung liga, kundi yung mga not-so-rich teams. Because okay. yung yung luxury tax na babayaran nila will go to the league as well as distributed to the other teams. Absolutely. Not the team that is paying the luxury tax. And, and then, I actually brought this up. Oh, oh. I actually brought this up in the last planning session to the to the PBA board no not in a formal basis because hindi naman tayo kasali sa board but uh, i mentioned it to several governors and they said yes it is uh, something that uh, should be considered maybe the timing is not yet right okay uh, for this oh. but i think it's something that will be considered because you know expansion is around the corner ayon eh, pinag-uusapan din ng PBA board yeah. when you have a situation in the draft where over 120 players applied for the draft and the draft went 11 rounds. You know that there's a lot of talent out there. But you have limited teams. Saan pupunta yung mga player? Hindi naman po pwede lahat overseas. Mm. Hindi naman po pwede lahat nasa MPBL. Oh. I mean, you want these players, the quality players, to be in the PBA. Oh. But you have only limited slots available. Kasi only 12 teams uh, are in the PBA. So, expansion is definitely around the corner. Mm. Once that happens... I think we should review the salary cap uh, system and also begin to think seriously about the luxury tax because ang makikinabang niyan is not only the rich teams, the super rich teams, but also the not so rich teams mm. because now they can participate in the uh, salary uh, that will be given over the cap through the luxury tax sharing. Ang importante lang when we think about expansion, ang importante lang dito ay eh, number one, ayusin nila yung salary cap. Pangalawa, eh dapat itong mga teams na to ay seryoso sa pagpapalakas at lumaban dahil yung huling expansion natin hanggang ngayon ay eh, yung mga teams na yun ay eh, hindi pa umaangat at uh, marami pa. And of course, the last one is to make sure na yung trading, yung ating free agency rule ay eh, medyo ma ma-refine ma natin ang, uh, ang implementation. Maganda yung idea, medyo kulang lamang sa restrictions and regulations. Kaya tuloy, yung sabi mo nga, nalilipat lamang sa mga richer teams. So the rich become richer. Uh, any any idea, uh, before I let you go, Kinito, of itong expansion? Sino mga interesado? Are there well, um, pagkaintindi ko, there are at least uh, four teams that have made inquiries. Okay. To okay. join the PBA. Okay. And I understand out of the four, um, may, may rating system kasi ang PBA. Okay. At least two of the four are serious oh. um, um, prospective mm. uh, franchise owners. Mm. So I think it looks good. I think uh, especially since coming off a record year, no? uh, the PBA had over 200 million pesos in net income last year. Mm. That's a record year. And I think also the fact that uh, the PBA had a record attendance of over 54,000 in Game 7 of the Commissioner's Cup last season, uh, those are good signs for the PBA you know, looking forward. And yung pagkapanalo ng gilas ng gold medal in the Asian Games, that's also a very good sign for basketball. Mm. Um, I dread the thought that kung hindi tayo nakakuha ng gold medal, may impact yan sa PBA. Pero oh, wala na yun. That, did, that didn't happen. Oh. So I think this coming season will be a blockbuster one. Well, and number five, it will be Magnolia versus TNT. And there will be the Leo Awards and there will also be a celebration 
of the Philippine team that won the gold medal in the Asian Games before the actual game at the Araneta Coliseum. That's November 5. Well, and of course, the influx of rookies. Ang dami natin magagaling na rookies. Nasabi ka natin, ang daming uh, mga nag-apply and uh, limited available slots. But the teams have made room for players like Richie Rivero, Keith Datu, Brandon Bates, Stephen Holt. Uh, Luis Villegas, those guys are going to be playing in the uh, in the PBA, and uh, everybody's very excited. Well, we are excited, and ho hoping, of course, the pagpatuloy ang success, and of course, uh, uh, with the victory sa Asian Games, uh, uh, I think the signs are there that it, the basketball is certainly alive once more sa ating bansa. Kinito, ang dami pa natin pwede pag-usapan, the NBA, the UAAP, uh, and I'm I'm sure there will be more time for that, but the for today, uh, maraming salamat for sharing us, sharing with us your thoughts about uh, the upcoming season, and we look forward to your coverages again sa PBA. Maraming salamat sa inyong panahon. Maraming, maraming salamat, Kamnoli, and thank you very much to all the viewers, all the followers of Power and Play. Maraming thank salamat. you. Maraming salamat. Vigan, the Dean, of course. Kinito Henson sharing with us all of the developments of PBA, and of course, nangyari kay Justin Brownlee. Uh, hopefully nga, eh, yun na lamang, isang buwan, sana nga, eh, cross our fingers na kahit papano eh, makalusot ang ating pong, uh, bayani at uh, makapaglaro muli para sa ating uh, bansa at para sa kanyang kupo ng Barangay Hinebra. Although maraming iiyak na naman dyan ang mga kalaban. <laughs> Alright, bago po tayo mag-break, uh, isa muna pong pagsilip sa ating pong mundo ng palakasan sa viral videos at sa pop culture sa Stop and Pop. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala Sabi nila sa sports, height is might, pero meron din po nagsasabing talagang iba na ang matangkad. Ito po ang uh, uh, title ng ating video. Panoorin niyo po ito ha. Kita niyo naman si ate. Kasi ano, bang tang, ano bang height nito ha, uh, Mike? Hindi na po tumatalon sa ibabaw ng net. Uh, yan ay uh, talaga namang uh, lagpas-lagpas ang kanyang uh, kamay dun sa net. At uh, talagang pader pagdating sa depensa. Iba rin talaga ang height advantage sa tamang situation. Iba na ang matangkad, iba na rin ang stop and pop. And when we come back, ang ating po mga kasama, the NX-led Chameleons, kasama na po si Danny Ravenna, Laika Ebon, and Coach Taka Minoa. Ito po ang power and play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go, at ng True Religion. Ang oras po natin, 9.17 ng umaga. This time check is brought to you by M2T Drinks. With Malungay, Okra, and Luya, drink your gulay with M2 Tea Drinks. I dare to dream big. To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai's stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart ako. Masarap, malinis, friendly store crew, at higit sa lahat, healthy. Ang bawat manok ay laki sa alaga, hindi sa gamot, garantisado, zero antibiotics. And that's the Chooks Experience. Kaya mag Chooks to stay na, dito lang sa Chooks.
pinarangalan ng Pima bilang radio station of the year, Radyo 5, True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. May namiss ka bang mga shoot, pasa at hiyawan? Ngayon, hindi na! Dahil araw-araw mo nang mapapanood ang mga paborito mong sports program sa TV. Watch us on these channels. Free TV Channel 41, Signal TV Channel 6, Sky Cable Channel 59, One Sports. Ito ang go-to tambayan for your favorite sports programs. Dito ka na sa paboritong tambayan mo pagdating sa sports. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. See the future stars of Philippine sports as they give it their all. Witness the most thrilling action. Jaw-dropping moments and unforgettable victories. Be part of the journey to greatness. Get ready for UAEP Season 86, Fueling the Future, every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday on One Sports and UAAP Varsity Channel. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. 25,000 watts ng totoong tunog ng FM radio. Totoong pinalakas, totoong pinagtibay ng mga batikang mamamahaya sa paghahatid ng news, public service, entertainment, music, information, at inspiration para sa bawat kapatid, bawat Pilipino. Ito ang 92.3 Radyo 5 True FM. Dito tayo sa totoo. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. And we welcome you back to the Power and Play. And right now, uh, we're very, very happy and fortunate to have with us the newest member of the F- Premier Volleyball League uh, op- uh, All Filipino Conference. Ang pinakabago pong kupanan. They are the pioneering force in luxury lighting and part of the Akari Lighting and Tech Corporation. Actually, their second team. Kasama po natin ngayon ang NX Led Chameleons, led by Danny Ravenna. Laika Ebon and Coach Takayuki Taka Minoa. Magandang magandang maga. Good morning, uh, Coach. Good morning, Danny and Laika. Morning, sir. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Well, first of all, uh, the name of NX Led is Chameleons. NX Led Chameleons. Danny. Ba- bakit Chameleons? <laughs> Para lang, kasi alam natin ang Chameleon is like a is an uh, animal that uh, changes colors yes. and adapts to many situations. There, there you go. There you go. All right. Why chameleons, Nani? Bakit chameleons? Um, first of all, because Akari nga po is a light, lightning company. And next is this, their new generation of light bulbs. So the actual light bulb po na next said is known to be more innovative in a sense na may iba-iba yung kulay as you can see sa logo na right. and being a chameleon very adaptive wow. so i think it goes perfect with you know the brand of akari and also the team right uh-huh. now which is the sister team of akari and you know we're all just very fortunate and best to represent the company as next led uh, talking about that you see the second uh, team of the uh, akari group no uh, like uh, how does it feel na uh, galing ka dun sa dating akari now you are part of the sister team uh, how does it feel to be leading a new team sa PVL sobrang saya po kasi parang hindi naman din nagbabago kasi parang onti lang yung Uh, nadagdag sa amin. Right. Half, oh. or, yeah, tayo. Parang madami pa din kami galing na car. Pero masaya pa din ako kasi yun nga, nabigyan kami opportunity na makapaglaro ko din. Mahirap ba yung challenge na ganun? Na may sister team ka? Mas may pressure ba yun? Like ah? 
<laughs> for me po, uh, meron, kasi, eh, pero parang good naman siya, kasi, syempre, pag-iisipin, andun naman po yung pressure, pero pag-iisipin mo yung pressure talaga, hindi ka makakapaglaro ng maya sa loob ng court. Danny, you are the team captain, of course, before I go to coach. Uh, how How is the role being a team captain now? Uh, na, ikaw, although you're still very young, eh, you're now leading a, 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 a full team and, of course, uh, being a second team of, a, a, of your mother company. Um, definitely, it's a big responsibility, but at the same time, I'm surrounded with such amazing athletes and such great players with more experience than me. So I feel like being captain is just, sabi ko sa nila, it's just an underline under the number, but anybody can lead the team and everybody is actually leading the team in their own specific way. Right. So I think that's also a help, a big help with the team, knowing that we're a group of individuals from different backgrounds, different schools, and you know, we get everything from what we've learned throughout our volleyball careers. And then we just, you know, nag assemble lang kami together and kung saan kami makakatulong as individuals for the team. Yun naman yung um, goal namin. And for me, I don't really think about it too much. Um, although people might say, you know, <laughs> a lot of things about it. Yeah, just yeah. being captain alone, marami na yung sinasabi. But, you know, I think my name goes with a lot of pressure <laughs> from the very first day I was born. So that's just another thing. And yun nga, I mean, like, I'm fort- we're all fortunate to be coached and to be managed by such an amazing company and of course with Coach Taka as our head coach, diba? Parang international volleyball yung IQ Coach Taka and it's something that we really don't take for granted. So, sumusunod na kami kung ano yung gusto niya, kung what his vision is for the team. We trust him wholeheartedly and we know that we're gonna be led by such great coaches and a great management too. Well, uh, talking about Coach Taka, uh, Coach Taka, you know, uh, this is your first time coaching a uh, a pro team in the Philippines. You are, you know, you have very, very good credentials. Former uh, coach, uh, of course, part of the coaching staff of the Japan Women's oh. National yeah. Team. Uh, you were yeah. an assistant in Saitama. You were an assistant in China. And, and, of course, the biggest credential is you are the husband of Jaja Santiago, so <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, Coach Daka. Tell how yes. how did you land this job? Uh, tell us first. How did you get this job? Did you apply for it? Was it offered to you? And how did you feel that it was offered to you? Mm. Actually, I just beat the owner of an rate in Japan, and at that time. I just came back to in Japan. Mm-hmm. So I'm just looking for the team. Mm-hmm. And then before already Jaja asked me to be a head coach uh, in Philippines. Okay. Uh-huh. So that mind is already in my, my mind. Yes. That's why I'm decided to go Philippines. Also, I want to know Filipino culture mm-hmm. and then Filipino player thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I really still believe in the lot of potential. Okay. But sometimes the Asian Games or some abroad comp- uh, competition, the result is not good. That's yeah. why I want to see all the Filipino players. All right. Uh, you, are now, you, you have seen your team now. You have seen the talent in your team. What mm-hmm. do you like about the NX-led Chameleons, uh, Coach Taka? Mm, I like uh, their body language, mm-hmm. like how to play inside the court. Mm-hmm. In Japan, usually they are quiet. After the getting point, just showing of like God's pose, only that. But in Philippines, all the team, they will shouting, even though practice, they are loud. Yes. And the body language is like <laughs> more, it's not Asian. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. They're very yeah. happy. They're very happy. They're very energetic. Yeah, very yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how is the? How are you in the Philippines? Are you enjoying your your stay here in the Philippines? I'm enjoying, but as I said, the practice always early. It's not for me. It's not familiar. Uh huh. Okay. 
even the six maybe if I need to wake up four a.m. So six a.m. <laughs> but I need I need to analyze until the one a.m. two a.m. So actually I don't have uh, enough sleep in this week. <laughs> <laughs> you should have enough. You I should get. I will enjoy. All right, you should get more sleep because uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you cannot last if you're only sleeping three hours, Coach Taka. <laughs> All right, let me ask Danny. Dan, Danny and Laika. Kamusta? How how is uh, Coach Taka? And paki describe yung ay style niyo. What do you like about it? Uh, I'll begin with you, Danny. Uh, as what Coach Taka mentioned, I think what he got for the big shocker for him was how loud we were, or like the Filipino <laughs> volleyball is. I think in Japan, we <laughs> all know them as being such great professionals, and by that, parang kami professional kami, but we also make it the habit now. We also enjoy training because it's different when you go to training na. Especially for us, we're all major on the younger side. Kami. Right. Oh. So, makukulit talaga. I think that's the biggest problem <laughs> and the biggest headache of Coach Taka is that we're very young. So, we tend to kind of lose focus easily. Oh. But at the same time, we have uh, our seniors or our athletes na parang to really hold us down. And of course, yeah. Oh. And the coaches. So, Proper balance. Of course, there's a get-to-know part pa rin since oh. we've only been under Coach Taka in less than a month. So there's still a lot of um, things to work on. And it's, you know, he always mentions it's a process. We can't expect results to come the right. day after our training. It will happen right. as, as the process goes by. So we're just really patient. And yun na iniisip namin na everything that we're working on is really may results in yan onwards. Oh, like I go. Ano 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 nagugustuhan mo sa style at saka yung uh, yung mannerisms or at least yung uh, dinadalang kultura ni coach Taka to the team. Si coach kasi po parang napaka-specific niya as in like yung mga small details ng mga ganun. Kailangan ma-correct siya kasi para pas, pag sa game madali na lang siya may apply. Then, sobrang nakakatuwa lang siyang tignan kapag sumasaya siya sa mga kakulitan nila Ate Judy. <laughs> But also, Coach Taka can, uh, Coach Taka, I'll translate. Because you know, you love Ate Judy. Her energy. So sometimes, you would always tell her to do that. And it really <laughs> helps the team. Yeah, it helps the team po. Pinabihan niya si Ate Judy na pwede siyang sumayaw sa loob ng ako. Sumayaw sa loob ng <laughs> Sobrang gaan lang po sa training. Yeah. 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 Drill master ba? Drill master? Is he very, you know, about uh, training? Oh, definitely. I think when it comes to skills naman with Coach Taha, with different positions, he also wants na as individuals, we have our edge. We have our yung parang spe- special specialization. Have, oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. So, Perfect yun kasi even as a player, alam mo yung coach na nakikilala ka niya, na meron talaga siyang hinahanap na distinct skill na alam niyang may kita niya na kaya mo gawin. So it gives like a moral boost, yeah. especially as a player, as a young player na parang this international coach na parang believes in me, why? Right. Diba? Right. Bakit, Inahayaan ka niyang yeah, ma- mismo maka-score. Galing. 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 Yeah. All right. Coach, are, are you having a difficult time adjusting to the to uh, to the team or are they the ones having a hard time adjusting to you which one is it <laughs> actually I, i don't want to push coaching especially i'm the as a coach i don't want to push coaching my coaching yes. that's why i need to adjust for the player yes. and the coaching stuff yeah sometimes it's having a hard time mm-hmm. but i know mm-hmm. it's just a process right It will maybe one month, two months, end of the this competition. Maybe we already find. Yeah. Well, as a as a new team, uh, and putting this team in less than a month, as uh, Danny was saying, what has been the biggest uh, concern or biggest challenge for you? Mm, biggest challenge. Mm. Receive coach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> especially, I want to fix like an attitude, attitude and how love the variable, how to you guys play inside the court. Uh-huh. Even though we lost, we need to show 
the fighting spirit. Right. End of the game. Yeah. All right. Because a lot of team now I'm six, maybe six games, but sometimes they lose. That's the time they already doesn't have a motivation for fighting spirit. Mm-hmm. That's why I mm-hmm. keep telling the player, even though we lost, but we need to join the fighting spirit end of the game. Yeah. That's I'm biggest. You're happy. You're happy already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what what are the uh, goals of this team? Given that it's very very young and new, uh, what are you expecting in this first uh, conference of the uh, NX led Chameleons, uh, Danny? Kayo, ano expectation yun? Um, the team has a goal, of course, na as much as possible, we would want to make a big statement and end the conference on the top six, hopefully. But other than that, like what, what Coach Taka said, you know, it's a process and it doesn't matter naman kung matalo kami. It's the manner of how we rise above it. And yung yun nga, sinasabi niya na yung attitude namin kasi after, pag natata- it doesn't define our character when we win it. I think what defines a team is their character when they're losing or when the odds are against them and right. how they, you know, come together as one. That's right. what we're trying to work on now and it's something that we're really big on, yun nga, yung teamwork and how we will all overcome and help each other overcome the obstacles that we'll face because we're going to definitely be facing a lot of great teams in this conference. Oh. Yeah, a lot of veteran teams, but... We're a young team, but as individuals, I think we all have experience naman with volleyball, Philippine volleyball, and, you know, it gusto lang namin tulungan yung isa't isa. Yeah. Ikaw, Laika, what, what uh, we've seen, uh, sabi nga nila, ni, ni Danny, maybe sixth place or getting into, uh, you know, just winning a few games, but more than that is the effort. Personally, ano ang goal mo dito sa team na to, Laika? Personally po, uh, Gusto ko lang kung maipakita ulit kung paano ako maglaro. And yun dati pa, gusto ko lang din tulungan yung team ko. Yeah. Uh, yung win kasi, bonus na lang po yun sa team namin. Mm. Yung importante po kung paano kami maglaro every game para namin maipakita yung sistema ni Coach Taka. And ayun, yung uh, teamwork. All right, Coach. B- before I let you all go, uh, as a final shot, uh, Coach Taka, uh, what would you say would make this first conference of the NX-led Chameleons a success for you? What would be your measure <laughs> to to say that it is successful in this competition? Yes. Mm. It's hopefully same as Danny. Does Danny say that top six team mm-hmm. is our goal? Mm-hmm. But it's also it's just process. Maybe next process. competition or next next competition, yeah. our target is being the champion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, um, has the success. team has the team surprised you? Has this team surprised you so far? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good surprise, huh? Not bad surprise, huh, coach? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not bad surprise. But uh, always the judge. In this team, is a young player, and then half of the player from Akari, and they are not playing time. A lot of playing time right, in last competition. Right, right, right. That's why some player doesn't have trust their safe, and then they doesn't have be their safe. That's why we, for now, we need to have confidence in this competition. That's confidence. what maybe most important target. Yeah, confidence. More than top sh- in the top shins, yeah. We need to have a confidence. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. even each game, yeah. it's right. just a one game. Right. But we need to feel like this is a championship. Uh-huh. All right. So All right. it's going to be, we will get the championship. If maybe not in this competition, maybe next, one well, next, next. But we need to think how we can be a champion, even though our target is top six. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it will be a process. It will be a journey for all of you. Uh, everything starts with the first step, and this is your first conference. And we wish you all the best. I, I know that 
Uh, the, <laughs> so, the management supports you so much. Of course, the fans. And you've got a great coach. Good luck to the NX-led Chameleons. And we, we certainly you, will be watching you. Marami, Thank marami you. salamat. Thank you, Coach Taka. Thank you, Danny. And thank you, Laika. Thank you. Mga kaibigan, ang mga miyembro po ng NX-led Chameleons, the newest team in the PBL. Ha? At uh, abangan po natin yan. All of that, of course, is covered on uh, Signal TV. Ha? Abangan nyo po yan on One Sports. All right, before we uh, give you our uh, featured athlete in our In the Spotlight, gusto ko lang po magpasalamat muna sa lahat po ng mga tagapagtaguyod ng Power and Play. I'd like to thank, of course, Cherry Loom, ang yerong may aluminum sa ganitong pabago-bago ang panahon, mga kapatid. Sobrang init tapos biglang uulan. Kailangan natin ng matibay at protektadong bubong. Dapat ang bubong ay yerong may aluminum kapag may aluminum chak na pang matagalan. At isa lang ang alam kong dikaladad na yerong may aluminum, yan ang Cherry Loom. Tibay protektado sa pang matagalang yero. Cherry Loom, ang yerong may aluminum. Thank you! Cherry Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid. Elevate your driving experience with the all-new Cherry Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid where sustainability meets functionality. Get ready to embark on a journey of fuel efficiency and power like never before. Imagine cruising down the road with the impressive 1.5 turbocharged engine paired with a cutting-edge 48-volt hybrid system. This dynamic duo not only delivers accelerating performance but also slashes fuel consumption effectively, making each mile a step towards a greener planet. The all-new Cherry Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid is also equipped with a 10.25-inch capacitive touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto full LED headlights and double-row daytime running lights for improved road visibility, auto trunk release, six supplemental restraint system airbags, and a quiet cabin for more peaceful Cherry drives. To learn more about the all-new Cherry Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid, visit Cherry Auto Philippines' website at www.cherryauto.ph or visit your nearest Cherry dealership. Thank you! Chooks to go ang naging isang manok ng bayan. Subukan ang kanilang pinakabagong oven-roasted chicken na mas pinasarap dahil sa nag-umapaw na flavorful chicken juice. Try their variants, Harissa Roast, Sweet Roast, and Pepper Roast. Subukan din ang Chooks to Stay, the first dining restaurant ng Chooks to Go. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Thank you! True religion is in the Philippines, where passion meets power. Experience it firsthand. For your best style choices, visit True Religion at Conrad S. Maison Mall of Asia Complex, Resorts World Manila, and Ascenda Designer Outlet Silang Cavite. True Religion, where passion meets power. Thank you! Joyride, ang bago ninyong kasundo. First booking nyo, use promo code JRMC Taxi 50% off on your first motorcycle taxi ride. Book Joyride MC Taxi for safe, affordable, quality, and fast rides. Ano pa hinihintay nyo? Download the JR Super App on Google Play Store and the App Store. Joyride, ang bago ninyong kasundo. Thank you! Elms Seafood Paluto, the latest offering of the Elms Resto Bar Group. Located at Unit 2 Ground Floor, Cali Bistre, Ever Commonwealth, Quezon City. Enjoy their delectable seafood menu in a relaxed casual dining atmosphere for your salo-salo seafood meal. Elms Seafood Paluto. Thank you! Skin your face and body anti-aging center with branches at Alabang Town Center and Green Hill San Juan. For your skin assessment and treatment schedule, call 0917-890-1640 or 0977-809-8886. Thank you! ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Experience the getaway that you deserve and dive into limitless happenings, rejuvenating experiences, and gastronomic adventures. ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Thank you! M2T Drink with Malungay, Okra, and Luya. Drink your gulay and fuel up on energy with M2T Drink with Malungay, Okra, and Luya. Your natural source of electrolytes. Thank you! And of course, Power and Place powered by Smart. Live smart today. Maraming maraming salamat po. All right, at this point, mga kaibigan, we put the spotlight on one of our rising stars. She will become our first Olympian female gymnast in 60 years. Let's put the spotlight in the spotlight. Power and play with Com Noli Iyala. At ating pong itatampok ngayon, in the spotlight, walang iba kung hindi si Alea Finnegan, our Olympic gymnast. Good morning, good evening from Louisiana. Uh, Alea, thank you for joining us this morning. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. First of all, congratulations on a on a uh, historic uh, achievement in the World Championships, uh, booking a seat in the Paris Olympics. How does it feel to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics, uh, Alea? Absolutely. It's it's so surreal. I'm just so overwhelmed with so many thoughtful messages and everyone reaching out has been so incredibly supportive. I'm so excited for this upcoming year ahead and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Especially since, uh, you know, this particular achievement is um, highlighted by the fact that this will be our first participation in gymnastics for a Filipina in over in in about in six decades H how cool is that and how significant is that for you absolutely it's it's such an honor just because you know it's an honor to represent the philippines in itself and on top of that to be able to do something and bring awareness to the gymnastics community in the right. philippines right. there are so many incredibly talented athletes that are continuing to train there and compete for the philippines so just being able to draw some attention to those athletes and draw some attention to the philippines to the gymnastics and the sport itself it, it's an honor you, you know your journey uh going to paris has been uh uh, absolutely crazy you know you had to qualify you had to go through the asian championships then the, of course the world artistic championships describe it to us alea you know that that journey now that you're on your way to to paris yeah so the first competition that i competed at was the southeast asian games in vietnam in 2022 i believe it was and that was my first time competing for the Philippines. It was such a special moment between me and my mom, who's from the Philippines. And to be able to go around the second year and have another opportunity to compete for the Philippines, just each time I'm able to go out there and represent represent the country, represent everything they have to offer to stand for, it is an, it is an incredible opportunity for me. And I'm so thankful every single day that I'm able to do that. And obviously, it wasn't an easy journey it going wasn't, from... Yes so many competitions and it's they're pretty cutthroat too as well because only om only so many spots are available for these types of competitions but just knowing that i knew what my goal was going into those competitions that i knew what i needed to do and i'm just i'm thankful that it played out the way it did well you know up until two years ago or uh, three years ago maybe uh, you were, you were competing for the team usa and you were in fact in fact part of that gold medal winning team in the pan american games in back in 2019 um, uh, with teammates like uh, Sean, uh, Sh uh, Sean uh, Blakely, Simone Biles, and, you know, um, uh, uh, Kara Eaker, and all of these great gymnasts in Team USA. Of course, you decided to represent the country in the Southeast Asian Games and shift allegiance. Uh, Ale, what made you do that? What was the motivation to shift from the U.S. to the Philippines? I think the main I think the main reason that I wanted to compete for the Philippines was just to give back to my mom who's made so many sacrifices for mm -hmm. me to be able to have this gymnastics career that I'm able to live out and just give back to my family who's also made so many sacrifices to represent the people that I love and it was it was too good of an opportunity to pass up and how can something so amazing just be slipped away even if it's just handed right in front of you and right. so I'm so thankful and I was kind of going back and forth honestly if that was something that that, you know, was in the deck of cards due right. to the fact that I, I had kind of closed like that chapter of my life and was going to move on with going to university and competing for there. But the, do the door was open. The opportunity was ahead of myself. And I am really thankful that I was able to take that leap of faith. All right. A lot of people want to know a little more about you, of course. How Filipino, how Filipino are you, uh, Alea? Uh, where do you trace your lineage, first of all, in the Philippines? Yeah, so my mom is born and raised in Manila, mm. and she has uh, seven siblings who mm -hmm. were all just grown up there, and um, she moved over to the States for university when she was about 18 years old, So, and we've made a few trips back to the Philippines uh -huh. since. Uh -huh. um, and each each time, it's it's an amazing opportunity to just be able to see kind of where she grew up, where she went to high school, where she was talking to <laughs> her new boy crush or something. Oh, something wow. <laughs> just a small, just the small things that you don't really you don't really hear so much in dinner time table talk. So just being able to go and kind of live those live those stories that she's able to tell me, it's incredible. What is the best part of being a, a Filipina? We call it Pinay. 
for instance. What's the best part about that? Uh, for instance, do you, do you like Filipino food? Uh, Absolutely. I love Filipino food. What's your favorite? Love- what's your favorite food, Dalia? Probably pancit or chicken adobo. Pancit, all right. And, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Very Filipino. <laughs> and, and your favorite tradition? Do you have a favorite tradition that you Ooh. celebrate? I'm trying to think. Man, you caught me off guard with that question. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. <laughs> just, being, just being able to like host um, feasts, you know, will bring out a lot of my teammates. My mom will cook an amazing spread. And mm. every single time, all of my friends and all of my family just come in and... I haven't. I have yet to hear a single bad thing about what they have to say about her cooking. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to pick up some tips and tricks from her. <laughs> absolutely, and and you know, of course, um, sports is, is also a very big uh, part of the Filipino life. Have you have you seen any Filipino athlete that has that has caught your attention or or your favorite athlete uh, that you've seen, uh, even uh, perhaps in when you were part of the Southeast Asian Games? Um, I think I, I have so much respect for all of the athletes in general. And it's, it's it's so awesome to kind of see us all, you know, coming behind one thing and pushing for pushing for um, just support and everyone working so hard to be able to achieve their goals. I have tremendous respect for all of the Filipino athletes. Well, you've said about what's being great about Filipino. What has been the most challenging part in being a Pinay? <laughs> Alea. I think the probably the most challenging thing is just, you know, coming in coming into the States and people kind of, you know, they kinda of look at you sideways a little bit when you're eating something different that, you know, most people <laughs> don't or like you say something this way, you have this type of tradition and just kind of owning it. I'm so proud to be a Filipina and I'm I'm proud of, you know, where my mom has come from, you know, where our roots are and you know, people will say what they want to, but I'm proud of who I am. Do, do you play other sports other than gymnastics? No, gymnastics is the only one. I did dance for a, f- um, a few months probably growing up, but I started gymnastics when I was two years old and I stuck with it ever since. All right. <laughs> well, I, we know that you are uh, with uh, LSU, L- uh, Louisiana State University. Uh, what are you taking up, uh, Aaliyah? I'm studying business marketing at, at this time. So uh, if you were not a gymnast, what would you be in the future? I would probably say a dancer. I think ah. volleyball would be fun to try, though, as well. Wow. <laughs> really? Really? Huh? You, so, uh, but uh, um, after gymnastics, what do, you plan, what, what do you plan to do? Absolutely. I think I want to pursue, I want to pursue mark in the marketing department, mm. maybe some sort of advertising agency or still maybe sports marketing as well. Social media marketing is a great opportunity and kind of dipping my toe into that a little bit at this time. And honestly, the possibilities are endless. Absolutely. W- would you consider staying in the Philippines? Yeah, I actually, I, w- I would definitely consider that as well. Mm. All right. Well, let's talk about your gymnastics. Uh, I read that you started at a very young age. Who introduced you to the sport, Alea? So I have three older sisters. I'm the youngest of four. And whenever my oldest two sisters were born, my parents were kind of looking on sports that are good for brain development. So I think swimming was on that one. You know, track and field was in that department as well. And gymnastics was also in that department. So when my oldest two sisters were born, they put them in gymnastics at a very young age. And then as each child popped out, you know, they just stuck them in gymnastics as well. So by the time the fourth kid came around, I, I kind of already had no choice other than gymnastics. But what do you like about gymnastics? What, you, what made you love it? I think I love the feeling of flying and just mm. being, being up in the air. There's nothing quite like it. And just right. being able to have something so powerful yet so beautiful at the same time. Uh-huh. What's the favorite uh, event or apparatus for you? I think my favorite is probably the floor exercise mm-hmm. because it's a little bit more it's a little bit more personal than the other events. The other events are very kind of you know serious and like very <laughs> very focused to a T. But floor, you get to kind of show off your personality a little bit. You get to have fun with it. You get to take in the crowd, take in the atmosphere, take in where you are. And so it's probably my favorite event. To but, but of course, you've had a couple of. Uh, medals gold medals in in the vault as well as in the balance beam you had a perfect score uh in the floor exercise and then the vault and the balance beam i mean uh, clearly the, the, your your game is beginning to really grow what is the strongest part do you feel in your game Alea? 
I think I think probably one of my strongest things about me is that I'm pretty well rounded in all mm. of the events. Mm. I'm not as incredibly talented on one event as per se to the other. So I think that I have a pretty even spread across all of the events mm. as able to help me reach my goals. And what do you feel is the the side that you need to improve on? I think just upgrading and putting more skills in. I don't have I don't quite have the difficulty that some of these other athletes may have. So they do have they do have an edge on me in that department. But I think the more I continue to upgrade my skills and polish them out a little bit more, then I think I'll think I'll be game ready. Uh, there are about eight to ten months left before Paris, and uh, clearly that is at the top of your mind right now. How do you plan to spend the next uh, months preparing for Paris, uh, Alia? Yeah, so I, I have my collegiate gymnastics season that's coming up on us. Uh, it goes from January all the way up until April. So every single Friday, I'll have a competition. And the skill load isn't quite as high as per se to competing for the Philippines in an elite competition. Mm -hmm. However, I think that just the numerous competitions that I have every single week, that in itself already prepares me, you know, going going towards that summer goals and post postseason. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to go to an, an international competition to just kind of prep myself and kind of try out some new skills and see what clicks and see what doesn't. Um, but in the meantime, it's it's I'll go through my season all the way up until April. And then from then on, it's, it's straight training until Paris. All right. Well, you know, a lot of people are anticipating, you know, your performance. They are looking forward to it. Uh, as a Filipino athlete, Aliyah, what is your ultimate goal? I, I know that you know, when you were playing for the United States, you already got the gold medal in the Pan American Games. And now that you're representing the country in the Olympics, what is your ultimate goal, I guess, uh, as a Filipina athlete? Yeah, I think I'm halfway there. I've qualified to the Olympics, which is still, which is still insane to be able to to be able to say you know, I've been wanting to go to the Olympics since I knew what the Olympics were. You know, when I was five years old, I was kind of calculating wow. the age range where I would be qualified or old enough to be <laughs> able to go to the Olympics. And I never would have thought it would have been in 2024, but I, I am so grateful that it couldn't have gone any other way. So looking looking past that goal, I think it would definitely be to make an all-around final and hopefully make another final as well at the Olympics would definitely be up there in, in my goals. Well, uh, you know, you made a big leap. You made a, you know, a, a huge uh, decision uh, to move over to the Philippines and, of course, honoring our country, honoring your mother's motherland uh, with your decision. Are you happy uh, with that decision? Um, any regrets? Absolutely not. None, none at all. I could not be more content and more grateful for this opportunity that has that has been given to me you know in this in this sport that i'm able to do and gymnastics isn't that type of sport that you can do for you know 30 40 years there's not so much longevity in it and i'm just grateful that the timing worked out and i'm able to represent the philippines and i'm able to reach my goals of going to the olympics well we are looking forward to it and we wish you all the best thank you so much for joining us this morning alea and thank good luck. you so much thank you thank you well you can see alea finnegan uh, our uh uh, first Filipina gymnast to qualify for the Olympics in 60 years. Ang huli pong uh, nag-qualify dyan ay si Maria Luisa Floro at si Evelyn Magluyan in 1964. Absolutely amazing. And we, let's pray for a great, great campaign for Alea. Alright, mga kaibigan, uh, before we end, uh, gusto ko lang pong uh, uh, basahin ng iba sa mga nagpadala ng inyong uh, komentaryo sa ating pinupulsuhan ngayon pong araw na ito ha, uh, ito po ay patungkol sa uh, kung ano po ang pinaka inaabangan nyo sa NBA season sabi ni Jeffrey Zafe watch for the Greek Freak Dame Duo kung madadala ba nila sa promised land ang Milwaukee Bucks Art Castro said inaabangan ko po si CP3 kung magfit siya sa system ng GSW sabi ni Carlo Lackey yung patibayan ng uh, tuhod Chet versus UMB ang ganda nun ha And si Ori Babia sa akin ko, Komnoli, ang pagbabalik ng East versus West All-Star format. Oo nga, na-announce yan. Ha? At ang new in-play or play-in tournament, challenge rule revision at maganda rin paano i-utilize ng mga coaches. Ross Lazaga, Battle of the Bones, Chet versus UMB. I like that. I like that. And our winners today, ha, si 
Rose Lozaga, Battle of the Bones, Chet versus Wemby, at si Carlo Laki, yung patibayan ng tuhod, Chet versus Wemby. Congratulations sa inyo. You'll get uh, M2T drinks, uh, 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 mga inumin po, mga packages from M2T drinks. At sa atin naman pong nanalo ng uh, Joyride uh, Top-Up Promo, ito po yung mga mananalo ng 1,000 pesos e-wallet credits. Si Annalyn Ibanez, Christine Gabad, Dailin Helardino, Herman Toledo, at si Joff Fajardo. Congratulations, you win 1,000 pesos e-wallet credits from Joyride. Dabangan niyo po yung mga winners ng aming pong uh, message sa Facebook page. And that'll do it for us this Saturday morning. Uh, marami po salamat sa lahat ng ating pong nakasama and of course lahat po sa inyo na muling nakatutok sa atin. Uh, again, kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, wala po ang power and play. Magsama-sama ulit tayo next week. At lagi po natin sinasabi, tuwing Sabado, bawal ang masuhit. At sa lahat po ng ating gawain, ad mayorem dei gloriam, all for the greater glory of God. Kami po ang 1PH, teleservisyo para sa Pilipino. Susunod na po ang inyong paboritong inay ko po. Happy Sports Weekend, mga kapatid! More power, more play. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Tapo ako Pilipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilang tadang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok kay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Magpakitang gilas na at Ng bida. Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ng Pinoy, pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulo, chumbe, shibay, lakay, amiga Sama-sama ang pakita, ang galing natin katropa Sa kapwa ko Power and play with Kong Noli Iyala.